Hello and welcome to another gauge demo from fitgages.com. Today we're taking a look at my new manifold pressure gauge. This was a suggestion from a couple of customers who requested it. So um, please, if you've got some gauge ideas, please let me know because they can turn into physical gauges. Um, let's cover the S buttons first of all. Now on this gauge, we're only using the S6 for engine selection. So at the moment we're showing engine number two and as i rev the engine the manifold pressure changes for engine two now if i want to see engine one i can hear s6 and that's toggling to engine one now and i can set the uh, pressure and i can toggle between the two engines you can see the needles different for each engine now somebody requested that in addition to having that they would also like to see multiple needles one for each engine now while my gauges do allow you to load the gauge into two FIPs and each FIP showing a different engine so that I can have engine one showing on FIP one and then I can have engine two showing on FIP two you can have the gauge running side by side um, somebody said that they would like to see a dual needle gauge as well so I've actually incorporated that now into both my RPM and my manifold pressure gauges and to access you just long press S6 or on a VFIP you just right click and now you get multiple needles so you can now see both engines doing their thing with a needle for each uh, and if you want to go back to a single needle you can just once again uh, long press or right click and VFIP and you're back to a single needle and your then S6 does your engine selections Okay, so on this gauge, I've also made the red line adjustable and to adjust the red line um, You use the left dial and you can move the red line so you can set that wherever you like Now when I researched this I found that most manifold pressure gauges either went to 35 or to 50 um, And I've made this so that you can actually change the red line to whichever you prefer Okay so and now onto the right dial the right dial is the nearest physical function to the blue led and that brings up the mini menu so you give the right dial a turn and you then have access to the mini menu now the first option in the menu is version and info and the turn off the left dial will bring up the version page and you can see the version number and some links to the, the manual and stuff so let's turn that off and the next option in the menu is the side buttons now you can turn the side buttons on and off using the left dial and there's a separate tutorial on how to uh, label the buttons and um, please check that out um, we'll turn those off and the next option is glass reflection now there's an optional reflection for the glass and if you turn it off on this gauge it turns it off on all my gauges and the next option is the background color and like all my other gauges you have uh, various different choices of background style so you have a gray dial a black dial a darker background and a jet black background as well so you can set your preference there and changing it here will do it as i said for all the other gauges as well so i hope you find this video useful and if you haven't subscribed please do so and come back and check out some of our other videos soon thanks bye for now